what's that say about um, basically, I'm just going to talk to you uh, a little bit about a project that I've been doing this year, sort of from, from January, all about using sort of technology, that, all that mobile technology that we have um, in abundance nowadays um, as a teacher, as a way to reflect and uh, evaluate lessons in class. So I want you to cast your memories back, I want you to think of, um, or can you remember what successful moments you had in class on the 15th of November 2000? Ten. And if you're like me, you probably can't cast your memories back that far. Um, and you probably won't still keep the lesson evaluations that you've had that day. Um, for me, it was a special day because, um, well, we actually had an inset at our school which got cancelled very last minute after we'd sent out endless um, letters to parents, etc. So we ended up having it as a uh, Christmas shopping day. Um, what uh, I just booked in with my wife for our first scan as we found out we were expecting and off we went to the hospital, uh, took my stepson as well and went into the scan room, she started scanning uh, my wife's stomach and uh, suddenly turned the screen away, started to panic a little bit and she turned it back, she was there and she said if you had any fertility treatment we like, um, no and then she just that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're Harry Chow and they're my triplets. They turn two in April. Um, and apart from showing off a little bit, there, there is a reason that I put that in there. But the point making is, you know, certain things will, or you'll always remember certain dates. But as a teacher, when you're teaching approximately 195 days a year, 780 lessons, 1,267 hours, etc., etc. Having to remember everything can be quite tricky. So I came across um, this guy, Caesar, who lives in America. And when he was 30, he quit his job and he decided what he was going to do is he was going to film one second every day, so that in this year that he had off work, um, he had a five-minute video, from, you know, showing everything that he did in that year. After a few weeks, he decided that he was going to be doing it for the rest of his life because it was just changing him as a person. He was having to think more sort of creatively about what he was going to do in that day so he didn't always have the same thing filming over and over. Um, and he developed a one second everyday app. And uh, I watched an interview with him and he was saying that we, we use mobile technology so much nowadays, but a lot of the time it's stopping us enjoying things in life. So, you know, you You've got people who will spend 50, 60 pounds on a concert ticket to see I don't know, Robbie Williams, for example, and then they stand there for two hours just doing that, um, not actually enjoying it. When really, when you think about it, your brain will store all those memories, you know, enjoy that time and just take a little snippet, a picture, a little bit of music, or a video, which is a combination of both. As soon as your brain hears that, it will take you back to that time, and you won't just remember that second, you remember that hour or that whole day. So I started to think about it um, as a teacher, um, what, what I could do in the classroom to help me, or how I could use this to help me in the classroom. Um, so, I haven't had a class this year, I've been covering PPA right from nursery up to year six, uh, sort of using iPads as a way to enhance the um, subjects right across the curriculum. So what I've been doing is I've just been using it as a reflection tool, sort of picking out moments in the day that I've been, I think have been successful and saving them to create a video so that when I look back now or in a year or 10 years, I've got something that I'll always remember those little successful moments, so, you know, that, that look on a child's face when the penny drops or, you know, something that when you write it down a lesson evaluation doesn't capture that sort of feeling that you have. Um, and you know, when things are on top of you and you've got assessments coming out your backside and you've got parents' evenings and reports to write and you're thinking, why am I in this job? And you watch this video back and you realise that actually we do make a difference and what we do is an amazing thing. If I had a class, I'd, I'd use it as a class and take videos each day, a couple of seconds here, there, and as a class we decide what that would be. Um, um, I did this at a previous teacher meeting and uh, I started to speak, speak to some of and said, wouldn't it be great is it if in reception um, the class teacher made a video and you did it every year, right, from the way to year six and you'd have a 20 minute video of their whole journey as a class through primary school and you carried that on through secondary school. Yeah. Um, and as a planning tool, it makes you really reflect. I'm starting to think now, what, where's my moment going to come today? If I have planned lessons where I'm going to 
you know, have that, that successful moment in my classroom. Um, and you don't ever forget a successful lesson again. So um, I've got a video to show you. Hopefully this will work. So this is my, well, this was um, my spring term so from January up to Easter. Um, we'll just have a watch of this.
There you go, memories that'll last a lifetime. Um, plus, I'll be able to embarrass them at their 18th and 21st, so that'll be nice. But um, yeah, there's the details again. Um, there's more information on that uh, idea of one second every day. Oh, okay. That one second every day and the stuff if you're looking at iPads and things. So, um, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.